Hey guys, long time no see, or welcome to my channel. My name is Julie, and today's video is going to be kind of a life update slash get ready with me, which just means I'm going to do my makeup and tell you everything that's been going on with me recently, um, kind of catch you up because a lot has changed since my last video, which I believe was over a year ago. I'm going to zoom you in while I talk to you so that I don't go blurry. Um, you can probably definitely hear my air conditioning. It makes me think of the saying, do it for the gram, and people do a lot crazier of things than turning off their air conditioner and sweating it out, and I refuse to even do that for YouTube. So um, you get to just listen to my air conditioner today. I'm blurry! Getting back in the swing of this is difficult. Um, I, I don't know how I made sure that things were in focus. You know what, I'm pretty sure I was just out of focus a lot before too. <laughs> so not much has changed here. As you can probably tell, the background of this video is way different than any of my other videos, um, or at least I think it is. And that is because we moved again. Man, it's hard getting used to talking to a camera after not doing it for like a year. Um, the reason I've been so MIA for so long, I think is obvious if you've watched my other videos or if you know me in person. Um, my son died and after that I was really um, not just unmotivated to post anything, but I was not able to because of the frustration. Wow, I look great. The frustration of of filming sometimes and tripping over your words and not being able to think straight after all of that went down. It was just really hard to try to film. I had the decision of like, do I want to keep trying to make videos or not? And I, I never intended to give up all the way. And it just kind of happened after that loss. And so because of that, it's been a while, but I'm gonna try to start posting again. Lots has happened since since that loss um, in my life. That first year was just difficult, trying, interesting, but also good at the end of it all. Obviously losing my son was not good in any way, shape, or form, but um, just kind of life life changing there's been some good changes that have happened and um overall i'm doing well for those that are wondering so the most recent move that my husband and i made is our most unique move that we've ever made um we not only moved from one town to another but we <laughs> we moved from a house um into an rv full time and the decision to do that happened really, really quickly and really suddenly. My head is still spinning quite a bit over it. I don't even know what got in my head to do it like that, but that's what I did. <laughs> we knew we were gonna move town to town. We didn't know where we were gonna live. The prices are just so crazy here in California. Well, we decided that instead of just burning more money with rent, that we wanted to invest in something that would be ours and save up money in the meantime until we can buy a house again. But yeah, it's been quite an adventure already and we just started, so here's to new seasons. I'm not going to be talking about what I'm putting on my face, but I'll link everything that I'm wearing down below so that if you're curious, you can look in the description box and see what I have on my face. My makeup routine has actually changed quite a bit since I was filming. I don't even use powder anymore, pretty much. I'm, I'm in my 30s now, and I guess I'm just not as oily as I used to be. I don't even remember exactly how I ended up figuring out that I wanted to even look into getting an RV. I think that I just was seeing stuff on Instagram and enjoying looking at renovated RVs and, um, tiny houses and stuff like that, but I literally was like, I will never go tiny, I'll never do that, that's a worst case scenario type deal, like I wouldn't choose it, it's not the life for me, and then all of a sudden here I am. <laughs> I started looking into it um, seriously 
probably in April and it's June and now I live in one full time. So I did it really fast. We had kind of discussed it before that and I had said no, I don't want to do that. Then we started kind of calculating how much rent would cost us over the next couple years before we can buy a house and just the amount of money that we would just be burning. I was like, that just feels so irresponsible. It feels wrong and it would go nowhere. It wouldn't be ours. So in order to simplify our life, my husband and I talked and we're like, you know what? We could, we could work less, save more. Why not just do it? Why not just go? We can commit to living tiny for like one to two years and really save a lot of money. I'm changing angles in hopes that that will help the blurriness, but we will see. I found this particular RV on Instagram, funny enough, um, and was like, oh, it's so pretty. It's in a price range that's reasonable for us. And so I contacted the owners and we scheduled a FaceTime uh, view of it because it was across the country in Florida. I would not recommend doing it that way now that I have done it. I, um, I don't have regrets, um, but I wouldn't do it again. Getting it here was such a headache and that, that could have been greatly avoided by just buying something closer. I think the biggest reason that we decided to do this was so that we could stay flexible with our schedule and with our income so that we didn't have to get a nine to five, so that we didn't have to worry about um, making enough just to throw it away and rent. So something that I've said to my husband a lot over the years has been um, about time and just how that's like the most valuable thing to me. And I, on the like love language thing, I'm definitely a quality time person. And so the value of time being the most important thing and going, we want to spend our lives together um, has been something that we have decided to really prioritize. And so as we were looking to move, as we were looking to transition, we kind of talked and said, you know, we would really prefer to be able to work for ourselves and do something, create our own schedule, be our own boss, where our time is our own and we're not, you know, in the nine to five hustle all the time. We don't want to live our lives in the nine to five. We were like, you know, we can also pursue other dreams, other things that we've wanted to do if we do this. Do little side projects that have been on our hearts or minds for years now. And we also want the flexibility to spend time together and to spend time doing ministry. It's really funny because a couple months before we made this move, I had listened to a sequence of books and I don't even really know how it happened. It wasn't on purpose um, that I picked these particular books, but they were very anti-consumerism books. Some of them were um, more on theme with that than others, but at the end of it, I kind of came away with this like, yeah, like I agree with that. That's That fits with my values. That fits with kind of how I feel about life, how I feel about the things that I want and the things that I care about and the things that are taking my time and attention that just shouldn't be. In a weird roundabout way, I think that it also started leading to this, where I started considering how much space I actually use in my home, how much I live in, not just how much I store things in, how, how much do I go into those rooms and use the items in each room in my house, what space is actually necessary for me. And when it came down to it, I just kind of was discovering like, you know what, I don't, I don't use everything in my house and I don't use every room in my house. So maybe going tiny wouldn't be so difficult after all. If I could make the space comfortable and clean, like I could probably do that. Just kind of realizing that sacrificing space doesn't mean sacrificing comfort. Um, that nowhere you live is perfect. There's something wrong with, with each place. So when I look at all my options, I could have rented a house 
and the issue there the difficulty would have been paying a really expensive rent and not being frugal with my finances living in an apartment that would have been really small still would have been quite expensive almost as expensive as renting a house and also I would be sharing walls and a neighborhood with people in very close quarters um, and wasting quite a bit of money there as well and then there's going tiny living in an RV I also considered a tiny house but really had nowhere to put one so living in an RV it's a tiny space but less expensive I can save money over time and the difficulty would be the smaller space the new type of lifestyle and then also any repairs and things that would come up um, could easily add up cost wise but really ultimately going worst case scenario if everything were kind of catastrophically wrong I would still not spend as much over a year in fixing everything as I would in rent <laughs> so my difficult that I chose was just different than the other difficulties that I would have faced if I had made a different decision so I had never experienced the stages of grief um, really so fully until my son died and I never understood the bargaining stage until that happened it wasn't even super conscious it was like when he died I I kept trying to figure out how I could still have him how I could still raise him and have him here with me and I would wake up at night and in my brain I was working I was I was bargaining for how I could still have him here and I had never I had never understood that until I lost him and one of the things that I kept coming back to over and over again was I would sell every object I own, give every penny in my bank account, and figure out how to live and survive if I could just have him. Like, if we could just do that, I could figure it out. Like, all I want is him. I don't care about anything else. All of my stuff is just meaningless, and I don't care about it at all. Like, it really holds no value. I would do anything. And that really reinforced um, for me how little how little things mean to me. And so I feel like that was a big contributor in making this decision was just realizing that like material possessions are just material possessions. Like they don't they don't matter. They don't make you happy. They're not they're not what you really want or need at the end of the day and so that was probably the first step in this happening um, and of course um, we're still hoping to have more children um, I actually I didn't really take much of a break in between losing him and trying and we're still not pregnant it took about a decade to finally get pregnant with him. He was a, my miracle, he was my surprise, and now um, it's been a year and a half of unsuccessfully trying for another baby. At first I said no to RV life because I was like, I can't be pregnant and raise a baby in an RV, like in a trailer, that sounds crazy. But then just kind of going back to those moments where I was bargaining and growing, I, I, would, I could give up everything and be homeless and if I had him, we could figure it out and we would be okay. Um, just that, those, you know, thoughts, those bargaining thoughts that went through my head and kind of going, I could though. I, if I got pregnant while I lived in this RV and had a baby, we would figure it out. We would be completely okay. And we would be being frugal for their future and to give them, you know, give them a home, give them our time and you know provide for their future so it just that's the hope the hope is that while we're here we we will have another baby and that this one will be healthy well Josiah was completely healthy but um, this one will be born healthy and live and that we will be able to um, 
raise him or her here and yeah I didn't mean to get so serious in this video but that's that's what my life update is I mean my my life has had a lot go wrong really really quickly <laughs> and yet you know we're we're good we're okay um, and so I was like, you know, I think it's time to step back into filming and um, picking this back up and hoping that it can go somewhere even, um, even so I can like DoorDash less. <laughs> so I can make videos and do something I enjoy um, to help support our family and um, still be my own boss and all of that. My camera's dying, so hopefully I can make it to the end. Something that my husband and I keep joking about is how when people ask how we're doing or um, where we're moving or whatever, um, we're like, oh, we're doing really good. Um, yeah, we're moving into an RV full time. And um, yeah, things are things are going great. And we feel like on the office when Andy Bernard gets fired and he still goes to the fundraiser and um, he's only been out of the office for like a week and um, people are like how are you doing and he's like I'm doing great things are going fantastic really really good they're going good I'm writing a rock opera well I would say I'm writing it but it's more like I'm receiving it <laughs> he ends up like adopting every dog at this fundraiser and he's just like, he's gone a little crazy and he's like not doing okay, but he's almost like convinced himself that he's okay. And people are like, oh, this guy's having a breakdown. <laughs> That's how we feel like we look right now. But unlike Andy Bernard, we're doing good. So. Anyway, that's that's my little update. Don't really know what else to say besides that. Um, I definitely will do like a tour of our trailer. I can do videos on my organization in here or like, or living in a tiny space or whatever. I kept almost all of my makeup. I got rid of some stuff that I wasn't using. And besides that, I kept everything so I can show you all of that. I've put on a little bit of weight after pregnancy, going through grieving, and now through moving. Um, I'm up after after surgery, my low weight, I'm up about 15 pounds. Um, and so I really wanna get that off and then continue to lose weight. But really my biggest thing right now is I just wanna get that 15 pounds off. I'll do videos on my, you know, post-surgery, a few years out of having gastric bypass surgery, I'll do beauty videos, organizational videos for my makeup, living in um, a tiny space, I'll do RV tours or, you know, whatever um, people want to see that are actually watching. So let me know what you want to see and I would be happy to make videos of it. And boom, like that, I'm done with my makeup because my camera died and I had to finish it off camera. That's pretty much it for this video. Please don't forget to like, um, subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video. And oh, don't forget to comment down below what you'd like to see from me. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.